Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching a film that I don't know what to say about. I know, I know, I'm here to do a review, I'm here to talk about it, essentially. But I went into this movie not knowing what to expect. It's a Disney, I believe Pixar movie, Brave! Brave was a 2012 film, and the reason why I say that I don't know what to say or really think about this movie is because, well, we meet this character, Merida, who, she's Scottish, she's a redhead, you see that her mother uh, wants to continue with tradition and sort of have her get married to any one of the firstborn men who go through these trials and show their worth to her and 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 that's what you think the movie is going to be about or at least that's what I thought the movie was going to be about and then you have the moment where Merida's like no I don't want this I don't want to get married to them I want to prove that I can do this on my own the first uh, competition she wants archery and then she shows up there and she shoots the bows and arrows and she shows that hey she's better than all of these guys she doesn't have to do this if she doesn't want to and then she has a fight with her mom and so I thought this movie would just be Merida prove, proving herself maybe going through each and every one of these competitions or doing something in order to get her mom's approval or her blessing um, and then the movie takes a crazy turn if you've seen the film you already know what happens you see that Merida gets so upset at her mom that she goes off into the woods, she finds this witch who gives her this curse, a spell, where she puts it and bakes this muffin or a pastry of some sort. The mother eats said pastry and then it turns her into a bear. A live, real, big ass bear. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I'm watching this movie. I felt so bad for the mother. First of all, the mother, the queen, is played by Emma Thompson, and I just felt bad for her. I know her and her daughter got into a fight. I know she kind of sort of almost burned her bow and arrow, and then she regretted it after. But man, did she not deserve this. And I know Merida made a mistake. I know that she didn't think it would turn her mom into a bear. She thought that the spell would just change her mom's opinion or change her mind and that was sort of it. She didn't realize the change meant a full change. And so I know she didn't mean it on purpose but this is really messed up. She essentially poisoned. She drugged her mom and then turned her into this fiend <laughs> And then the movie, just from there on out, turns into her and her mom as a bear running around trying to undo the curse. Uh, the mother, over time, because she gets like two sun sunups before she's a bear forever. So you see her, over time, starting to become more bear-like and more rabid and more angry. And, and there's even a, a scene or two where she almost attacks Merida and she, she wants food and... And this just became weird and bizarre. I didn't know what. Now, I don't dislike the movie. I think the movie was fine. I think it's nice. I think it's cute. I think it has a decent message when you get down to the mother-daughter relationship. And uh, obviously, there's something behind a deeper of, yeah, they might fight. Yeah, they might have an argument. Yeah, something bad might happen. Yeah, you might regret doing something to each other. But at the end of the day, you come together and blah, blah, blah. Like, I get all that. But... Just on face value. I was so just... She's a bear. <laughs> There's even a moment where Merida's two youngest brothers, or three youngest brothers, they're three little a-hole of, of, of kids. I mean, sure, there could have been more annoying. I've certainly seen more annoying kid characters, even in the animated movies. So they weren't the worst of the worst, but they did some stuff to where they knew they were being a-holes. They knew that they were annoying certain other characters. And then they too eat what's left of the the cursed pastry, and then they become bears. But they seem to be cool with it. They're just kind of like, eh, whatever, <laughs> no big deal. And and I was wondering, like, well, what about them? 
Has nobody in this castle seen them? Has their father not seen them? Because the father is, is a bear hunter, the king of hunting bears, I guess, and he even lost his leg to a bear years ago. You come to find out that the previous bear out there in the woods used to be a prince, and he too was cursed by the witch. So there's a lot of other side stuff going on. Uh, Merida, I should mention, is voiced by Kelly McDonald, who I thought was was good. Uh, she had this really thick Scottish accent. I know that's where it takes place. I know it, it, it has that heritage. And I like the fact that we get characters of that race and it plays up to some of their lore because that's different. Uh, it just... The accent was very thick. There was a couple moments where I was like, wait, what did she say? <laughs> what was that? Subtitles, please? Anyone? Overall, I think the animation's good. I think the movie itself is fun. Uh, a little crazy. A little bizarre. I'm still getting over the fact that I just watched this girl's mother turn into a bear. And that's what the whole movie was about. This movie was definitely not what I expected. And also, I'm trying to think of the title Brave. Once again, I thought Brave played into... Merida was going to become brave and fight for her independence as a woman, right? But is the brave title just because of her and her mom and the bear? Is that why it's called brave? Or am I an idiot? Is there a more obvious reason why it's called brave? I don't know. Who cares? The movie's fine. I enjoyed it for what it was. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of brave? Do you agree that this is a crazy plot? Uh, or maybe you just kind of feel like, hey, it's it's Disney. That's what they do. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Mm -hmm.